The tech giant is alleged to have collected data on which websites pupils visited, passwords, videos watched, contact lists, and other information. The data was allegedly gathered from Google's Chromebook laptops and G Suite for Education program. Google disputes the claim, with a spokesman calling it factually wrong. Google Chromebooks and the G Suite for Education, which includes Gmail, Calendar, Drive, Docs and others, are offered for free to more than 60% of students in New Mexico, according to the lawsuit. Attorney General Hector Balderas said Google had failed to get parental consent from children under 13 and collected their data for commercial purposes, in violation of the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. Student safety should be the number one priority of any company providing services to our children, particularly in schools, Mr. Balderas said in a statement. Tracking student data without parental consent is not only illegal, it is dangerous. Google should be telling parents that they're going to stalk and track these children, and under the guise of education, he added, according to KRQU News in Albuquerque. The lawsuit says that more than 80 meters teachers and students in the U.S. use Google's education platform and tools. Jose Castaneda, a spokesman for Google, said their program allows schools to control account access and requires that schools obtain parental consent when necessary. We do not use personal information from users in primary and secondary schools to target ads, his statement added. YouTube fined over using kids' data to target ads The Attorney General told U.S. media that he had contacted school districts across the state to assure them that there was no imminent threat in continuing to use Google products. Last year Google reached a $170 million, £130 million settlement with the Federal Trade Commission over allegations that it illegally harvested personal data from children on YouTube. Thanks for watching for more news subscribe like and share world news channel